brainstorming and sharing ideas is the funnest part of the creative process. We decided to skip the boring part of actually making stuff and just do the fun part. I'm your host, Tom Walma. I'm Brian Duchler. I'm Pam Palmieri. I'm Alex Wilson. This is Creativity Wasted. So my idea would be for a sort of, I've heard it, uh, I'm not going to take credit for this, but Kill Tony meets uh, Bully Beatdown. Uh, so two guys sign up, they got a problem with each other, take it to the local gym, sign up for this boxing match, and then there's a panel of like three or four comedians that just uh, commentates and roasts the fight. And then at the end of it, the winner gets roasted to kind of take them down a peg, even the playing field a little. So you don't do a minute of comedy, you just fight? Well, uh, do like a intro, yeah, some comedic roasting of like why they're getting into it, kind of explain it to the crowd. But um, yeah, just kind of have guys have to disclose like, and think about, do I really want to throw hands over this? Is this a dispute that I want to sign up and get in a public fight and have to put that thought into it before going at it and then have that outlet for settling <laughs> disputes that get to that level? I do have yeah. a name for it. Uh, I would call it insult to injury. That's a good name. That is a good name. Sounds like a good game for boys. The girls wouldn't do yeah, well. it, it would be, hold on. So that, that's a really nice way of saying that's a stupid boy thing. Well, you know, it, it definitely appeals to boys. Um, the girls, I don't know, maybe not, you know, girls face to face are nice to each other. You'd have to put them in separate rooms because then they'd talk about each other. It's kind of interesting. It's like, so the first part is, okay, I'm going to avenge my bully. And then the second part is, I'm going to get bullied again. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, okay, good grief. You could um, avenge the person who roasts you in an endless cycle of bully beatdown. Uh, or what, what's the name of it again? Insult to injury? Insult to injury. Insult to injury. I love that name. I, do I was just gonna say, I just was gonna say, do you even roast, bro? But that name is so much better. <laughs> I yeah, um, I think it could be like a good way to mitigate that, but it, it could also lead to someone getting extra butt hurt and taking it to another level, which is something I've taken into account on it. I'm like, I don't want someone to get surprised, beat up, and then get a gun and take things outside is the opposite of the point. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's like, okay, uh, I want to avenge my bully. Uh, or it could be just disputes where there's no bully, right? Or does it have to be the bully format? Well, uh, so can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. My idea for it does kind of involve there being communication between the people signing up. There has to be some kind of coordination there. You can't just like... Spring it to them, force them to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they both have to sign a waiver kind of thing. So it, you couldn't just like walk up and slap them with a glove kind of deal, but... You gotta, you gotta, for modern times, you have to have a yeah. more modern challenge. Right. I, I like that specifically because I don't know where my grade school bullies are, but something tells me that they continue to make bad choices in life. <laughs> and I might not just want to approach them randomly and slap them with a glove. So. Right. Well, yeah. And it part partly is to kind of discourage that taking it to the shootout level of like, we can settle this with our hands and go home and hold our bruises and think about what we've done and go, ah, oh, all right, I don't know. Was that worth it? But does the show sort of pick, like before the fight, did they sort of do an intro where they frame somebody as being the bad guy and somebody as uh, the good guy? I, I would think that would kind of come on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, 
So it could be like, okay, these neighbors hate each other. Right. Yeah, you don't exactly. really know who the asshole is. Right. Or, yeah. Or so you, if, could, like, you could have fun with it, you know, since it's a game show, you know, maybe um, the bully gets a choice between being roasted or talking to a therapist. And that would be almost <laughs> Yeah, it gets funny. wins a free three rounds of therapy. Yeah, you know, but that's not a bad idea. Air because you know most of the bullies have no clue why they're bullies. Everybody, we, we will literally do anything besides have universal health care in this country. <laughs> so, when you when your, when your therapy session, step right up. Yeah. So let's say a bully wins. Well, so yeah, that's why the the winner would get roasted because I've I've ran this idea around a little bit and. Um, it was pointed out to me that if the loser of the fight is the one to get roasted, it it kind of is like putting salt in the wound a little bit and just being extra cruel, which is, oh, which so is not the I, point. I missed that. So only the winner gets roasted. They don't both get roasted. Yeah. I vote no. for only the bully getting roasted. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, not the, the bully beatdown thing, that comparison is just for there being like a sort of personal element to it but it's it's not necessarily like a one-sided thing where like like tom's example of like two neighbors like oh you didn't return my lawnmower for three months and then it got shitty i want to throw hands about it but and like if the other guy agrees to that and is like okay it doesn't have to be like this lazy guy with his lawnmower keeping blah 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 like it can just be you know these two guys couldn't settle a thing about a lawnmower now we're gonna have them punch each other in the face and like it doesn't have to be this is the good guy this is the bad guy with it right so with bully beatdown part of the premise was... i'm actually less familiar with bully beatdown i was hoping that that would I just think i've seen it a couple give it some context i think the person getting bullied gets trained by a fighter mm -hmm. like a pro fighter but the bully doesn't the bully just goes in Mm -hmm. and... Is this a real thing? Bully beatdown? Bully beatdown is, yeah. Oh, okay. Like an MTV show, maybe? I, that sounds right. Um, so, but... it, so, like, focusing less on bullies, more just there's two parties with a disagreement. We can do, like, the uh, yeah. like, like the arbitration they do on those court shows. It's like, you know, right, whatever right. the outcome of the game that is, yeah. Suggestion. Um, then we have just over the top and overproduced like WWE like wrestling intro musics for these two warring parties. Yeah, and it's just like Bob from accounting and Greg. Exactly. From, yeah. And they're they're all they're like throwing hands and stuff, but it's just yeah. like Bob stole Rick Stapler. Yeah, he, that. I he love ate it. his lunch out of the work fridge and <laughs> kept pretending he didn't. Uh. You could have themes like, okay, this week, it's every 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 pairing is going to be teacher versus a troubled student, mm -hmm. <laughs> like maybe graduated, yeah. <laughs> they're like eighteen or whatever. Or this week it's couples, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know, guy versus girl, <laughs> is problematic or not, but or. Uh, yeah, I would, I would probably have a trouble supporting a criminal girl. versus judge who sentenced them, <laughs> or <laughs> something like that. You know, yeah. like a theme. Uh, like, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, that'd or be... it's like IT support versus Linda from accounting who keeps CCing everyone in the entire company. It's like right. those two. Those uh, two yeah, are like Karens, like a bunch of different Karens. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a Karen off. Yeah, we'll do it during Shark Week. I think that makes more sense for the Karen off. Yeah. Uh, we can wrap up early. Any any shows or podcasts or things that you guys want to promote? I have a show this Thursday at Gauchi Golf Resort in Onstead. And then I have one next Thursday at Sam Hill in Ann Arbor. So if anybody's going to Ann Arbor Art Fair... You want to come to the show at 7 p.m., air conditioning, free parking, lots of it, and a really great cool. lineup. 
August 22nd at Gauchi Golf Resort and August 15th at Sam Hill. You still doing a podcast, Brian? Uh, no, I've been uh, radio silent for a minute, um, but I'm looking to get back out there again. Uh, kids are a little bit bigger now, so it's easier for me to leave the house. Uh, so, yeah, let's maybe maybe a big comeback. This might be the only fucking thing I do this year. We'll we'll see what happens. I'm closing the Sunday Night Funnies contest, so I'm doing 15 to 20 minutes Congratulations. Uh, while they count the votes on July 21st. Uh, you have anything to promote, Alex? Uh, just my YouTube channel, The Dropout Professor. Um, I do silly educational edutainment videos, uh, talking about stuff that uh, I feel like school could have touched on better and kind of dropped the ball with and doing it for free because college is expensive. Cool. That's awesome. I'm to check that out. I like edutainment yeah. trivia stuff. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast.